All right, guys, I had to do something a little bit different, uh, trying to figure out how to get this schedule video together. Uh, took me a little bit of time. I apologize. As you guys can tell, uh, I never meant for this YouTube channel to actually be anything, and I am not very good at making videos. I know all the other drivers can make cool things happen and put in certain things, and I just have, don't know how to do it. So I just want to get the content out there for you guys. Um, and so far, it seems like most of you like what I do, so I'm just going to keep doing what I do uh, and get the information out there for you. So with that being said, I uh, hope this works. Uh, here is the 5-2 schedule. Now, what I did was I created a... Uh, a little spreadsheet box kind of thing and I just put in some basic plain numbers so do not pay attention so much to the ADP number itself like I'm not saying that this ADP is what you will get it's what I get it's kind of close it's a good um, it's just it's, it's a good judgment it, it's it's a good base to kind of go off of but it's not going to be the same for everybody. Um, as you can see from this, I've kind of just, I took uh, some basic miles and some uh, average activities from my paycheck that I showed you guys in the video that I did earlier. And I just kind of made a what if scenario. So all of this is based on the same exact miles per day, the same exact activities per day. It's just a real basic set number. What I want you to be able to pay attention to is how does the ADP change, what days are actually on the schedule, and how the schedule actually works. So for like you can see here, I have a 5-2 schedule. This person's go out day is Saturday. They work Saturday through Wednesday, and then they have Thursday and Friday off. So in this first box, this would be two weeks, and then the bottom box would be two weeks. So this is a full month, basically. In week one, they worked five days. In week two, they worked five days. So their days per paycheck is 10. So if they had 10 days per paycheck, their ADP would be roughly 346.40. That means their average day's pay would be 346. Now that is super low i don't think i've had an average of 346 um well my paycheck actually says i'm sitting at around 370 but this adp what that means is the average day based in this scenario with the numbers that i that i put out there and like i said they're very basic they're not really anywhere indicative of what you'll actually make i just wanted you to be able to see how things work when you get a schedule what changes and what doesn't change so for example look at the 6263 the pay period ends on friday so in this case the one is a saturday so they work saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday they're off friday and saturday then they go back sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and they're off saturday sunday monday because you can see on that that next week, their three-day would fall in the third week of their pay. Then they have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, Saturday, Sunday off. Or, I mean, they work, and then they would be off Monday, Tuesday, go back and work those th three days, and then in the next week, three days, then they'd have that three days off. So, as you can see from these blue boxes, their days off shift every single week. But... In this first two-week period, they had 12 full days of pay. That's going to be a much larger paycheck than my average paycheck. Uh, on my lightest week, I think I work eight or nine days. I can't remember what it comes out to uh, when I do the 5253, which we'll get to in a bit. But you can see on the first two weeks, they worked 12 days. But then on the next two weeks, because of the way the three days fell at the beginning of the week and then their two days in the middle of the week, they had nine days. Then the next week, their three days and their two days fell toward the end of the week, and they had nine days. But then they go back, and they're going to have 12 days again at the beginning of the two weeks. Now, the way Walmart calculates the ADP is they take um, 
13 weeks, and then they add up the, the, the amount and divide by 10. But as you can see here, your ADP will fluctuate from week to week based on the days that you have off. So if you're if you're trying to look at like what you'll actually make for the week, that's that's why I did the ADP was to show you guys what you would actually kind of make per day, not the true ADP as the way Walmart calculates it. So basically what I, I did is I wanted you to see that in the first week you're going to have 12 days, you're going to have a lot more money in that paycheck than you would in the the later weeks. All right, so 5253. This one looks crazy. This is the one that I am on. And this is why I say I work an average of nine and a half days per paycheck because this is how mine works out. My first week looks like a normal 5 2 schedule. I'm S Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, off Thursday, Friday. Same thing, off Thursday, Friday. Then. Uh, I'm sorry, then, but I'm also off that third day because you got to take the two days from this week, the third day here. So now my days start Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm off Friday, Saturday. I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then I work my five days. I'm off Saturday, Sunday again. Then I'm off for those three and then the beginning of the next week. So as you can see, the way the blue lines kind of move over one spot every other week, my days off rotate. And you can see here from the left that the first week I had 10 days. The next week I had 10 days. Then I had 10 days again. So for the first couple weeks I've got, these are my good paycheck weeks as we call it here at home. But then every day after that, I'm only working nine days of pay period based on how my days off fall. So I've got so many weeks where I only work nine days in a pay period, and then I, I basically get the 10, 10, 10. So it, the entire thing averages out to nine and a half days per week. But if this was your schedule, you could see how you could plan ahead for vacations, doctor's appointments, things like that, because you know what your days off are going to be based on the 5253 schedule. And you can see that my ADP is much lower than a guy that would work a 6-2 or I'm, I'm the 5 the six two six three schedule or something like that because I'm not working near as many days as some of those other guys are. Even if you look at a 6-3, uh, this one here, you would have your first six days. You'd have your three days off. You'd work six days. You'd have your three days off. So you could see the, the, the days off switch very, very fast on a 6-3. Um, it's, it's much faster than the five, two, five, three, where mine only moves one day every two weeks. Uh, you could see here in the first two weeks, they had, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. But then in the next week they had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. And then they had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So every time, whatever your last day off was the week before is your first day off the next week. But you, you could possibly get weekends. Well, it looks like about two out of every five weeks, you would have some, actually three three out of five weeks, you would have some sort of weekend off. On this first weekend, you'd have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On the third weekend, you'd have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And on the last weekend, you'd have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so you can get weekends off with, with your 6-3. If you look over here, you worked 11 days the one week, you worked eight the next pay period, then 11 then eight, then 10. And your, your ADP is very similar, um, just a little bit under on the, on the slow weeks, of course, because you only had eight days in a pay period. But then you had your 11s, which are much higher than the 5253. Five, so basically, this is just kind of what I wanted to orchestrate to you guys was I wanted you to see how the days off work because a lot of you, when I say I'm on a 5253, five, you're like, what does that mean? This is basically it. So on a 6-3, your days off change all the time. On the 5253, five, your days off only change one day every other week. On the 6263, six, they move at a medium medium speed. And then on your 5-2, your days off never change. So 
I hope that this helped you guys a little bit. Now, I know it didn't really help as far as the money goes, but that's because everybody makes is going to make a different amount. Uh, when you can work a day and get extra miles because you, you've got the hours to do so, you're going to make more. On a 5253 on your go-home day, uh, you know, everybody wants to get out of there a little bit early, but you're going to get um, – Almost a full day on a 5253, five, you're going to get about 10 to 12 hours. On a 52, you might work every single hour of the week. You may actually put in all 70 hours because you're going home for two days, uh, but that's kind of up to you. Uh, on, this, on a 6 uh, 3 or any 6, if they have a straight 6 2 schedule at your location, you're not going to be working a full day on this on this last day because if you think about it if you do 12 hours a day for the first five days you only have 10 hours available for that sixth day now most people don't work every single hour on their go-home day so you might only work eight hours on your go-home day what a lot of guys do is they'll work 12 to 14 usually average of 13 the first five days and you have to have a minimum of six hours on your last day. And then they work the six hours and they actually get an extra half a day off by working only six hours. They go home early, basically, and then they're off for three days. Then they work real hard through five days. They chill that last six day. Then they're off for three, three and a half days. Um, the six, three schedule, uh, I had a six, two schedule for a while and it was really nice. If I could get a straight six, three, I think I would probably take that. My wife likes the 5253 cuz the days off kind of they don't get crazy cuz she can kind of plan these out, she can kind of remember them on a 63, she'd never be able to remember the days off. Uh 6263 is the same thing. You're going to get two and a half days off kind of if you run your hours correctly, uh, and you're going to get three and a half days off on your 3 day. Um then you're going to work 6, then you're going to have, you know, two and a half, then 6, then three and a half. So uh, but that's if you want to run a little bit harder your first four or five days. If you can get 13 to 14 hours a day, you're not going to have 70 hours. You're not going to have any hours left of your 70 when you get to the end of the week. When it comes to 5-2, the one thing you're going to hear everybody talk about is the fact that they extend. Now, when you're working a 6-2, 6-3, it's very hard to extend because you, you I don't even think it's possible because you've used up all your hours throughout the week. On a 5253 program, it's hard to extend because you're usually sharing trucks in a program. So when I come in and work my five days, I can't use that truck for a sixth day, even if I slowed my hours down and saved myself six hours. Because when you extend, they give you the 275 bonus or 250 or 175, whatever it is they're offering at the time. And you have to work at least six hours but you have to use someone else's truck on that sixth day because the guy is coming in that night to get in your truck. Um, so like I said, you, you really can't extend on a 5253 program because of the fact you're sharing trucks unless you want to take all your stuff out, put it in your car, and then use someone else's truck just for that six, eight hours, whatever it is you have left that you're extending on, then you could go ahead and do that. Now, when somebody's got a, their own truck or they're on a 5-2 program, if they don't have someone else, there's, there's no program because I don't know if I can really explain it here, but nobody can be getting into the truck because it's only going to be used for two days. And then if you got in someone else's truck for two days, that there's no third day for you to, to do the program. Uh, if you're on a 6-3 program, I think it's – three trucks and four guys or something like that. So on the days off, they just move the trucks around in such a manner that you can share. And I, it was very confusing to me in the beginning. It took me forever to figure out how three guys can share two trucks on a five, two, five, three schedule, but it works. Um, but as I was saying on the five, two, you can extend if you've got your own truck, because you just use this, say this Thursday, or uh, if in this case, it would be your Thursday, you would use that. And then you would get paid the bonus time. You'd get paid, you know, the miles and activities that you did for that day. And now you're basically getting only one and a half days off. But your ADP is going to be super high because you don't have any low days. Like when I showed on the other days, there you might work 12 days this week, but then 10 or 9 days the next week. There would be no low days on a 5-2 because you are, are, are 
you know, maxing out the number of days, you're doing six and five, you're always got more than 10. And like I said, when the way Walmart does their ADP, if they take all those weeks and divide it by 10 and you constantly have 11 days, your ADP is not going to be what this says because this is just a, a an actual average. This is not a true ADP The Walmart calculates it. So your actual Walmart ADP is going to be based off of 10 days, but you always work 11. So by that, what I mean is let's say you go out and you're watching your your pay every day and you're like, yeah, I made 400 a day. I made 400 a day. I made 400 a day. And on that, you work that extra day all the time. Let's say it's an extra hundred dollars. Well, now that hundred dollars is going to get split amongst five days. So even though you average $400 a day at work, your ADP is going to be 420 because that hundred dollars is getting split amongst five days or if you keep doing it 10 days and then it would be $200 divided by 10 days if if the math you guys understand what I'm saying so your ADP at Walmart would actually be 420 not 400 because the way they calculate it and the reason ADP is important is this is what you get paid on your PTO days or your uh, like when you go to a meeting they pay you one tenth of your ADP so if your ADP is 420, your meeting, if you go to a meeting for an hour, they're paying you $42 an hour to sit in that meeting or to do mentors or training or whatever it is that you're doing that you're getting paid by the hour. So that if you get vacation time, they give you 10 hours a day for that PTO day and you would get $420 for your, your vacation day. So some guys are making more money when they're on vacation than when they're working because they're constantly working that extra day or doing that extra to get that ADP up there. Because think about it, if you're getting on that six day, if you're getting a $275 bonus and you're getting your miles and you're getting at your activities. So when you extend on that six hours, you end up making an extra $300 on that six day. Well, think about it. That $300 times two because it's a two weeks period so six hundred dollars is getting split amongst the rest of the week so your adp is going to be well let's see 600 divided by it'd be an extra 60 dollars. so your adp would be 460 if, if, in the case that we talked about if you do every day 400 which isn't realistic i mean some days i do 550 some days i do 380 but like i said if you're doing 400 dollars a day and you're always extending getting that extra money your ADP is going to be 460, but you you said you know when you did your work you oh I'm averaging 400 dollars a day, but you're working that six day now on a five two you're not going to have any home time because you're going to have one day off and a half a day that that you you left you know early you only work six hours that six day, but you could this is how guys could make 150 160 thousand dollars a year if you're in it for the money. You want to do a 5-2 schedule, and you want basically to extend all the time and just have one and a half days off a week. I came to Walmart, so I didn't have to work that hard. But some guys are doing it. Some guys are putting it in their 401K. Some guys are going to work that hard for 10 years, and then they don't have to do anything at Walmart anymore because their ADP and their their you know 401Ks and all that is so stacked they just go work a six, three or six and they have all them extra days off. Or if they've got the seniority, do a five and five, whatever they want to do. They've got the freedom money wise to do whatever they want because they, they busted their butts so hard on a five, two schedule, getting that ADP up there. Um, but yeah, so that's basically wanted to, I kind of wanted to show you guys on this. I hope that this illustrates what I'm talking about. I hope this, uh, has helped you guys in some way. If not, let me know. And uh, I'll try to clarify it the best I can. But basically in this video, what I wanted you to see is what your days off would be if you were to have picked a certain schedule, uh, whether it be 5253, 6263, you know, 63. Uh, and, and I think every depot has the same, same days. So uh, you should be able to, at some point, apply for one of these programs if you want to. Everybody is, as far as I know, unless there's a bunch of openings at your DC, everybody is going to come in what they call 5-2 Extra Board. They're going to say, hey, we've got uh, 7, 8, or 9 a.m. out on a Thursday uh, or Wednesday. And they'll kind of give you a little bit of an, a, a, a choice. And then you choose what you want based on whatever they have. 
And 5-2 extra means you're just not in a program. You're extra. They can send you here or there or whatever, um, and that's it. They And you just do whatever you need to do for the five days and then go home. Or you can extend if you want to use someone else's truck because, like I said, on 5-2, someone else might be getting into your truck for five days, and then you, when you come back next week, you're going to be in a completely different truck. And that's slip seating at Walmart. Um, if you want to work that sixth day and there's nobody coming into your truck or if at the beginning of the week you tell them, hey, I want to extend this week, they won't back somebody into your truck the very next day. So you might be able to use the truck that you're in for that sixth day. You might not. It all depends on the truck availability, how many trucks are in the shop and all that kind of stuff. Who's on vacation? Who's not? So it really just it's you, you really don't know. Uh, in the beginning, but like I said, once you get a little bit of seniority under your belt and you can get into a program, then you kind of know what's going on. And and if you're in a program, you can communicate with your other guys because you know if there's three guys and two trucks, like in my program, and one of us is going on vacation, we let the other guys know, hey, I'm not going to be getting in X Y Z truck uh, on, on my go home or your go home day. So if you want to extend, go ahead and use the truck because I'm not coming in. Uh, you just work with your partners on on your on your program. Anyway, I hope this helps. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, let me know. My email is in the description below. Thanks.